What's up guys, Reese here from reese 3dcom In this video, we are going to animate this beautiful looking rocket through a path, okay? So, let's get started. I just have one single layer. I'm going to name this as rocket, okay? And I have this rocket and it is being converted as a symbol. It's a movie clip symbol. It could be any symbol, doesn't matter. Okay, so <clears throat> to animate uh, this object on a path, I need to have this object sitting in its own layer. So I don't want to have any other objects in the same layer. And I'm going to right click on this object and I will choose add classic motion guide. So click on that. This is going to add a new guide layer and also puts this rocket inside that layer, right? So you can see that it says um, rocket guide. And now in the guide layer, all I have to do is draw a path. So I can use any tools. This time I'm going to use a pen tool. So I'll start from here. Let's say one. I'm going to click here and drag. So that's going to get a smooth path here. And I will draw another smooth path here. And I'm going to draw something here and finish it off. Okay, so this is a path. Great. Now all I have to do is right here in the beginning, I'm going to put this object in the beginning of the path. So for doing that, I'm going to use the selection tool. That is the black arrow. And I'm going to click and drag. Now watch what happens when I do this. You'll see when I get closer, it's supposed to snap in there. It's not snapping. Why? That could be because I have turned off the snap. So in, if it doesn't snap uh, to the point, you need to go to properties. Um, there you'll find dock and there you have the snap button. Now. This is Adobe Animate 2022. So if you have the older version, you will have to find it from a different place. So generally, if you have older version, like when it was called as Adobe uh, Flash, um, this snap button was actually here in the toolbox. So you need to be searching for this uh, uh, snap uh, button, okay? It's, it looks like a magnet, U-shaped magnet. Great, so let me turn that on and here now if I just bring this over you see the moment it go, gets closer to the path it actually snaps there good so I'm gonna put it in the beginning and now I have to say when I want to end so let's uh, see if I can give some 65 70 frames here so I'll go all the way here right click and choose um, insert keyframe there you go but what happened was because there's no frames or keyframes up here my guide just disappeared so to make the guide visible here, I'm also going to go here to the guide layer, right click and choose insert frame. We don't need a keyframe, we just need a frame just to reveal that path. Now at this keyframe, all I have to do is just bring this all the way to the top here, okay? So put it exactly at the end. That's it. And now all I have to do is create a classic tween. So right click and choose create classic tween. Click on that and you will actually see that there's a, a purple color and a straight arrow. That means our animation is created. So now if I just play this, you can see that the rocket goes in the path of that animation. Very good. Now if I press control enter, you will also notice something strange. <laughs> you see, it goes in the right path, but you will also notice the path just disappears. So this is a great thing. So you can use all kinds of guides to guide your objects into moving into different path, but you can actually uh, hide the path after you have created them. So now we have one little problem that is our uh, rocket is going fine, but it's um, not turning based on the path, right? So let's go up here and I'm gonna just go to the first frame. So here it is looking fine. It's actually pointing to the right direction. I'm gonna go to the end here and I'm also going to rotate this here just to face the exact end, but that's not enough. <laughs> that's not enough. Let's go to the first frame. So this is actually the um, tween frame. So when I select that and I can go here to frames. Now, if it is an object, you don't see those. Let's go to frame here and I'm gonna turn on the orient to path. So the moment I do that, now you can see that the object actually turns based on the path's uh, curvature. So when the path rotates or turns, the object also turns. So now if I press control enter, you will actually hide the uh, path, but you do have the perfect animation. 
Okay, now to slow down or to increase the duration, we just need to push this last keyframe away. So now we have uh, 70 keyframes for the total animation. I'm just going to just pull it like so to make that uh, smaller so that we get more space here. All I can do is just select this keyframe, just move this all the way, let's say to 120. And I can actually create a uh, frame here, insert frame or F5 as the shortcut key. And now we should have a slower animation. Let me press Control Enter. And let me just full screen that. Yes, now we have the animation playing much slower. All right, so that's it, guys. That's how you can create animation on a motion path in Adobe Animate. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked this video. If it was useful to you, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. You can also consider subscribing to my channel so that you can watch more such videos. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.